Another word for anger is mad. Let's read a book called I Was So Mad. In it, little critter keeps being told no, which makes him feel mad or angry. What will he do? I Was So Mad by Marissa Meyer. I wanted to keep some frogs in the bathtub, but mom wouldn't let me. I was so mad. I wanted to play with my little sister's dollhouse, but dad wouldn't let me. I was so mad. I wanted to play hide and seek in the clean sheet, but grandma said, no you can't. I was just so mad. I wanted to water the garden, but grandpa said, no you can't. So I decided to decorate the house. But Grandpa said, no, you can't do that either. Was I ever mad? Dad said, why don't you play in the sandbox? I didn't want to do that. Mom said, why don't you play on the slide? I didn't want to do that either. I was too mad. I wanted to practice my juggling show instead. But Mom said, no, you can't. I wanted to tickle the goldfish. But Mom said, Leave the goldfish alone! You won't let me do anything I want to do, I said. I guess I'll just run away. That's how mad I was. So I packed my wagon with my favorite toys, and I packed a bag of cookies to eat on the way. Then I walked out the front door. But my friends were going to the park to play ball. Can you come too? They asked. Can I go? I asked. My mom said I could. I'll run away tomorrow, if I'm still so mad. Little Critter could not do anything he wanted to do, which made him feel mad. So he decided to run away. This is not a good way to deal with your anger. In the end, Little Critter's mom said he could go out and play with his friends, which made him feel happy. How can Little Critter express his anger in a way that does not involve him running away?